we're just extremely happy that these stories that Julian has uh, popped out of his head over the last six years, and these characters in particular, uh, and each department working to the top of their game, has created something that people have wanted to tune into. The detail in the design, the makeup, the uh, clothes, the props, everything. People have felt that it's a real world they're watching, I think. In a world of order, the fact that Spratz had a lot of uh, audacity, he's had a lot of audacious moments, yeah, I've relished those. She's complicated and I love that about her. I like her bad sides as much as her good sides and it's, it's been wonderful to play and I'm, I'll really miss her. It's beyond acting in the sense that I'm used to, of, of putting together a character and walking away from it. You, you sort of, you don't even have to think about it after a while because it's just so deeply in you. These things come up very rarely. So it's been a great privilege to be part of it, and it's a great honour to be here tonight. I've been so lucky to be able to grow up on screen and play a character from so naive and young to a proper grown-up. It's incredibly flattering. I don't know that they've ever done this for a television series before, so, I mean, it's quite extraordinary. Uh, and I'm perfectly thrilled. I mean, it's the senior British award. Um, and here we are getting it. It's changed a little for the boys. Uh, the collars are still pretty tight at dinner, uh, but uh, it's the girls who've really seen, you know, trans you know, transformed, really, as you see the fashions develop. Um, uh, there's one particular suit I covet, but uh, I keep trying to nick it, but they keep saying that you, you can't. So.